Hey there everybody, how you doing? I am Francis and welcome back to Sonic Mania Plus. Last time we have finished Lava Reef and we played a little bit of the Mean Bean Machine. And today, well today we get to move on to some madness. Some metallic madness to be exact. I don't know really what to tell you guys about uh, metallic madness. Uh, this is one of those uh, levels from uh, Sonic CD. Uh, it's not my least favorite level from Sonic CD. It's not exactly one of my favorite levels either, but you know what? I'll take this place over Metropolis, and I'll definitely take this place over Wacky Workbench, because, oh, Wacky Workbench, that level is just, oh god, I want to meet the person that made Wacky Workbench, and I want to, like, hear, like, what were they thinking when they decided to make that level? Like, I would like to hear the story behind that. But yeah, here we are, Metallic Madness. Like I said, it's not exactly my uh, favorite level. It's not exactly my least favorite. Oh my god. Oh god. Metallic Madness ain't exactly my least favorite level. It's not my favorite either. I hated this level in Sonic CD for a certain gimmick. Uh, you guys who played CD know what gimmick I'm talking about. Um, unfortunately, that gimmick that I am mentioning does make it in this game. I'm obviously referring to the being very, very miniature and uh, going through a maze. I hate that section. Luckily, it's not as bad here in uh, here in Mania. And I think I love about Mania, by the way, is uh, traveling in the background. Like this is pretty cool right now. This is a gimmick I can. Ow! This is a gimmick I can get behind. Uh, I want to go up, but I, I can't do that now. I wonder what was up there. I guess we'll never know because I had to be so bad. Oh god. Oh, please, no. Oh, yeah, those things, uh... They're not new. We know them from, uh, so Sonic CD's, uh, version of this level. The music's pretty great, though, I'll say that. Like, uh, I can't really say anything bad about the music. It's just, this level's just, uh, one of those levels, you know? It's like, uh, it, it's... I don't know, it's just I don't like it, but I, I don't hate it. it. It's that type of deal, okay? Oh, well, hey, come back. Thank you. Going up. Now going here. What? Eh. Alright, let's do some Blue Spears. You guys know I won't pass up Blue Spears the day I say no to doing a Blue Spears. Is a day you guys should be concerned because something is definitely wrong with me if I say no to goddamn blue spears. Because this is something I can never pass up. I'm kind of surprised I still haven't finished this one, by the way. Like, this one's not really a hard one. I'm kind of surprised I still have uh, goofed up so many times that I haven't got it done. Well, let's try and get it done this time. I am done with the whole screwing up thing. I already told you guys, the screwing up days are well behind me. Never again will I screw up. You know what, I, I shouldn't make that promise though. Uh... <laughs> you imagine me really living up to that and be like, uh, I'll never screw up again? Come on, we all know that's not, that's not going to be the case. I always screw up something some way, somehow, you know? I don't know what I'm talking about saying that I'll never screw up again. I mean, well, uh, I mean on this one. I'm not going to screw this one up again. And at least with every failure when it comes to Blue Spears, you learn a little bit. There was uh, two more left. Oh, well, I'll, I'll take the token. But yeah, you know, when it comes to uh, Metallic Madness, yeah, I would gladly take this level over, uh, you know, say Metropolis, because... Oh boy, Metropolis was quite a thing. Uh, I'm gonna say, like, I hated Metropolis, though, because of, like, uh, any of the gimmicks. It was just the enemies. Like, they were so freaking broken. Like, the goddamn slicers, their claws, they freaking suck. Uh, the giant uh, king crab meats. They have like the most broken hitbox ever. 
And then there were those uh, star dudes that kind of, you know, explode with the five points of doom. Oh, come on. Yeah. And this level, like I said, this level, it, it's fine. I, I just could do about the whole shrinky thing. Which, Act 1 is okay because, uh, well, there is no shrinky thing. And you just, uh, well, you do this, where you go in the background a lot. Which I, I commend this game for doing this because I think this is an interesting, ow. This is an interesting gimmick. It's a pretty cool idea. Not many, uh, actually, I don't think there are any Sonic games where you can actually go in the background like that. So it's pretty neat. And we went back to the foreground just to go in the background again. I love how the background is like an entirely different section of the level though. That's that's pretty neato. And we'll do some more boost spears. Cause why the hell not? I kinda love the red flooring by the way. That's uh, a pretty nice touch. Alright, how am I going to get out of here? Oh, okay. The way I came. Alright. I was kind of worried there for a moment being like, uh, how do I get out? But yeah, I get out the way I came in. Oh, bunk. And go down here. And, oh, I pushed... Oh, I was pushing the forward button, but Mighty was like, uh... I don't want to go forward. I like doing the whole moonwalking thing. Oh, oh boy, what's this? Oh! Oh my! One of the most iconic bosses in Sonic history. You guys know this. It's the final boss from uh, Sonic 1. And well, you guys know how it works. You avoid the lightning. And you find which one he's going to come out of. And you smack him in the face. Like so. Although, unfortunately, in uh, this version... Uh, ow! Well, at least in this version, you have rings, but... I, in the original Sonic 1, I would just uh, stand down there, wait for Robotic to come down, and hit him when, uh, well, he's available. Because when you stand down there, you can't get crushed. But, well, it looks like Mania took care of that, uh... Took care of that thing. In a way, I'm kind of surprised that they chose this level over, uh, Scrap Rain. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad they did. Scrap Rain was one of the most evil stages. Especially Act 3, because you know what Act 3 had, right? A whole water section. What? Can someone explain to me how the hell I managed to get crushed there? Why did I not grab a ring? Oh, this is not going to end well. Oh boy. How'd I get crushed? I don't understand! Oh man, I know Future Me, when Future Me is editing this, he's gonna be looking back at that. that I'll probably put in a uh, slow motion of that. Um, yeah, how did I get crushed? Like, the, the, the thing was going up. So, I don't know how I managed to get crushed. Even if I was standing under it, I should've been okay. Like, if the thing was coming down, I think it could be justified for me getting crushed. But I, but the crushing thingy was going up, not down. Alright, so I think it's the fourth one that he's in. Yeah, okay. Alright. Oh god. Ah! Got him! Alright. There you go. And I did it with no rings. And we got the wrecked one! We did it, guys! You Frex, mighty, you deserve to show off them muscles. Alright, here we go. Act 2. Music got intense. I, I really do love the music here, like I said. And Act 2 has the annoying gimmick from CD that really just made me have a negative opinion of this whole level. I really hate the whole cheapy Sonic section. I know some people adore that. Some people actually find the TV character is cute. I'm not one of them. Like I said, though, it's more manageable here in Mania than it was in a CD. Like, it's less of a headache. But, hey, I still don't like it, okay? Nothing says that I have to like it. At least I don't think so. 
I know Spike Ball has not hurt me yet. That was weird. Whee! Alright, I got some protection. It doesn't hurt to have a little extra of the protection, you know. Yeah, let's just do, do some blue spheres. I love them blue spheres, you know. Alright, let's just go forward. There's nothing behind us. Always have to look. Kind of funny, I was mentioning earlier how my screwing up days were over. I already screwed up one of these. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys uh, didn't uh, take that seriously when I said that. It was just like a heat of the moment thing. Sometimes, uh, you know, I don't pay very much attention to what my mouth says. It just uh, sort of like spews out nonsense and just uh, speaks in the moment. And at the moment, I felt like I could accomplish anything. And, well, turns out I couldn't. Awesome. 15 left, 13 rings. Where are you? Ah, here's some. Six more? Uh, four rings. Oh, well, there's the rings. Alright, so we got perfect. And now we just gotta find the six remaining. Wherever they could be. Where are you? I'm looking for you. I'm gonna find you, hopefully. I might not though. Ah! I found them! Whoa! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, uh I don't really want to screw up right here, you know. No! <laughs> oh, 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 that, that's one that, oh, that's a, that's, that's a death that sticks with you. Oh, that, that, that's pain. That's all the pain. Ah. Oh. I feel like I shouldn't have spoken, because the moment I said I don't want to screw up... Oh, well, that's, uh... Okay, that's one of the unshrinky rays. I thought it was going to shrink me, and I'd be like, Okay, well, now you guys get to see the gimmick that I'm not too crazy about. I know some people love the whole TV thing, by the way. And if you're one of those people, well, it, it, like, it's fine, you know? Like, all the power to you. Yeah, like, nobody can tell you what to not like, you know, and what to like. Like, if you love the chibi thing, great! I just don't! And, well, yeah, here we go now. We're chibi mighty. We're super teeny tiny. And, oh my god, this stuff is trying to crush me! I, I don't know why! Like, what makes being so tiny, like, a good thing? Like, it doesn't really give you any advantage. I don't think it really gives you a disadvantage either, except for, if you know, you're smaller. And you can squeeze through things. And thank god I'm mighty, he can bounce off spikes before getting damaged. But yeah, I just wanna know, like, why... Why would you like, uh, TV Sonic? Or TV Mighty in this case, like... He doesn't really offer anything to help you. Just kinda gives his stuff to hurt you. Well, he doesn't really give you an advantage or disadvantage, he just makes you teeny tiny so you can actually make it through the level. He doesn't really do anything for you, though. That's all I'm asking, is why? Uh, we're almost done the game, though, by the way. Um, after this level, is just the Titanic Monarch. And then we are done. And then we can begin Encore Mode, which I've been told things about Encore Mode, and... I gotta tell you guys, I'm excited to be doing that. Some of the things I've been told... Pretty exciting stuff. Like, I've been told there's, like, a more, like, a uh, reference to, like, uh, the, you know, the handheld games, which I, I was kind of disappointed that Mania didn't really, uh, do much with, uh, didn't really do much with the Game Gear Master System games, because those games were pretty great, you know? Come on! Alright! What? What? Alright. Turn around. Okay, we got it! Now we gotta remember... Be ready to turn and jump! I, I turned and I jumped, but I guess I didn't... I did it too fast? 
Man, this game likes to punish you for taking your time at things. And then it likes to punish you for being too slow. Make up your game! Make up your mind, game! Do you want me to be fast or do you want me to be slow? I can't be both, you gotta pick one! Just pick one! Which one is it? Which one do you want? Ow! I didn't even see that. Apparently there were spikes there. Hey Bob, I'm just gonna take that and flip back. And kill that guy. And I'm gonna shrink again because, uh, you know what? Who doesn't love being teeny tiny? I mean, well, ha hashtag relatable because uh, I'm kind of a... I'm kind of a small person. <laughs> now I gotta live that experience uh, through a Sonic game. Thanks, game. Thank you for the constant reminders that I'm kind of a small person. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't that long, and it's not as bad, like I said, as it was in a CD. Because at least in this game, you're not. It's not like CD where you're going through a maze. I'm not really a big fan of mazes, you know. And down we go. Whee! <laughs> and because I got hit, I can't do a blue spear. Oh. Uh, oh, okay, I see. Okay. So you're letting me know where the things are falling. So I have a lot of time to be in the right spot. Which, I like that idea. Like, thank you for letting me know where the danger is. I mean, though, know, if it was, uh, if it wasn't gonna show, show me, like, highlight it, it'd probably be falling at a slower speed, so I actually have time to get out of the way. But, you know what, I, I don't mind. It's nice. Oh, boy. Oh, I gotta fight this guy teeny tiny. I don't wanna do this. Oh, I remember this boss. All right, so we get miniature versions of classic bosses. Like, there's that guy from Marble. There's that guy from Emerald Hill. You know, all the classics. And the most dangerous thing of them all. Mini Amy. <laughs> God, I hate it, Amy. <laughs> I mean, Amy is not really a boss, but it, it makes sense she's in there. She is the most terrifying thing that Sonic has ever met. Like, you can't tell me that Amy is not a Yandere, okay? You can't tell me that. Alright, well, thank you for the references. Oh boy, there's a tiny little boss boy. And that's all it took. Good! And well, being teeny tiny is over, that's good. Run free, critters! You are saved! We did it! And that only leaves one thing left. Oh boy. It got dark in here. Ooh, spooky eyes. Oh, God. You're, you're a big guy. You're very big. You're terrifying, too. You know that? Well, Titanic Monarch, guys. We're finally here, the final level. And that's actually going to be it for today's episode. We'll finish this up next time. So next time will be the final episode of Sonic Mania Plus. Well, kind of. Mania mode is the final episode of we got an encore mode we will be doing, so look forward to that. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for joining me. See you guys next time. Have a nice day. Bye, everybody.